Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a fun layout um, that I am doing and I am made my own cut file. Well, I didn't make my own, I guess. I found a PNG on Google Images and I just saved it to my desktop, pulled it into Silhouette Studio and traced it and cut it out. And um, what I did is I wanted a cut file of a sound wave and I just went into Google Images and I put in Soundwave uh, PNG and it came up with a bunch of options and the one you see there is what I chose. And it is a great way to find um, items for a cut file that you don't have to pay for. Um, you just copy and trace them like you would any other cut file that you would buy from um, like an online store. So I'm using um, uh, the Basic Gray collection called B-Side, and I love that paper in the background that has all of the different colors. Um, and I just did, I backed the cut file with that. And these are photos of my beautiful mom and I, and we went this summer to see Keith Urban, and uh, just a little pre-concert selfie, and then a, a picture from the concert. And I love. I love this layout. I love the simplicity of it. I only used one full sheet of paper for the background and the big, um, uh, what is it? The cassette tape that you'll see at the bottom. Um, I just fussy cut out of a piece of paper and that was simple enough. And then I will eventually make a a little cluster at the top. You can see I've also fussy cut a small cassette tape up there that I'm considering using at the top. And um, I'm gonna use a couple of stickers from that collection. Um, and this is really, really simple. I used, actually behind the photo is a frame sticker that I just cut at a diagonal uh, that I put behind the photo of my mom and I, and I didn't back the other photo. I didn't feel like it really needed it. And once I get, I'm gonna audition a few stickers, and I end up going with uh, an XOXO banner, and then layered over the top of that, I um, used the Rocket and Own It sticker, which I thought was perfect. Um, Let's see, what am I doing here? Yeah, we had such a great time at this concert. We had really good seats. Um, and we just, we are, we love going to concerts together. And we're super excited because next summer we are going to see Carrie Underwood. And uh, for my mom's birthday in September, I bought us tickets to see her. Um, right up by the stage in the pit. So that will be a first time for us. Unfortunately, we have to wait an entire year for that concert, but I'm sure it will be well worth it. So now you can see one of my favorite things to do when I have a black background or a dark background is use a white title, like a bold white title. I just love the pop of that and I'm putting, my title is going to be Seriously Amazing. And the amazing is just going to be stickers from um, the sticker sheet that came in the collection pack. Um, for this basic gray set, I didn't have any die cuts or anything. It was simply a collection pack. So it had the 12 by 12 <clears throat> sticker sheet and then it had a 12 by 12 alphabet sheet. So I, I really stuck to using just this collection. Aside from one thing, you'll find a what looks like a record um, that I use down by the cluster with the photo that says uh, turn heads. And then I used a record, you'll see me use a record at the on the top cluster in just a minute. And what I did up there is I'm gonna end up cutting the record in half. And I think I got those either at I want to say they were on clearance at Hobby Lobby, if I remember correctly. But I got those specifically knowing that I had these concert photos and thought I, I figured I would use them on this layout. And they just happened to match 
uh, perfectly with the colors that I chose. I really didn't plan the colors around the, el the albums, but uh, they just happened to work out. So now I'm deciding at the top that I'm going to use um, the cassette tape more as a banner up there. And you'll see I'm going to go through some of the stickers on the sticker sheet and find some more banner pieces. And that's what I'm going to do for my cluster at the top. And once I get the cluster done and um, I'll add some white splatters and then you're going to see me add some silver silver pieces and I will explain how I did this. I have this super, super, super old tool and I believe it was from Imagine-esque and it would, it had a, has a metal tip and it, it heats up and then they sold, um, little rhinestones, little silver, they look like brads, but they're flat and they have glue on the back. And then when you put this tool over it and hold the button down it heats it up and then melts that glue on the back and then melts that rhinestone or brad like piece to the paper and i believe it or not got that oh my goodness back in early 2000s um there was a work one of the big scrapbook conventions at mall of america and it was run by archivers. It was hosted by archivers, I believe. And a friend and I, we drove from Illinois to Minnesota and we spent the weekend and it was so awesome. We took a class from um, a couple of scrapbook companies. We met a bunch of the owners. We did a ton of make and takes. I've never seen so many people in one place, especially so many scrapbookers in one place ever as we saw at this place it was really amazing and i hope that i get to do something like that again but that's where we saw the tool uh, demoed and so this is back like i said in the early 2000s and um, we both purchased them and i even through all of my purging i i hung on to that and i'm so glad that i did because i really like um you know, I, I love the look of those little silver pieces that you'll see here shortly. And they were super easy to, to adhere to it because you didn't have to use glue. The glue's already on the back. So here I am still working on that upper um, title, or I mean, sorry, upper cluster. <clears throat> and I didn't realize I didn't have my title down yet. It looks like I was auditioning the title on some wax paper first. And I will get that down shortly because I do love how that looks. I love how um, when you put it down, you could just kind of nestle amazing right in, right underneath um, seriously with that descender of the Y over to uh, the left side of the layout. <clears throat> But let me know if you have questions about uh, using Google Images to find cut files. I've done this so many times and it really is super easy to do. It's free and um, once you move them into your uh, Silhouette library, they stay there. So I'll have this to use again if I would like to. Um, I could have stretched this out and made it taller if I wanted to. Uh, but I, I really liked the width that I had it there. So um, let's see, what am I doing? I think I'm still looking for some stickers um, to put down in that middle cluster maybe. Oh no, the upper, the upper cluster. So I hope you all are enjoying my channel. And as always, if you are not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe. If you have any questions for me, um, I would be happy to answer them. And um, yeah, it would be great. I, I'm hoping to um, continue to be putting out uh, more layouts. I've got a mini series planned that is starting in two weeks. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a four week series where we will be focusing on Distress Oxide inks and how to use those on your layouts. 
Um, I also have some great ladies joining me on, on that one, and there will be more more to come. So you'll have, I think there's six or seven of us um, that are going to be doing this mini series. So every Thursday, starting October 25th, you uh, can tune in to find some inspiration on how to use those distress oxides on your layouts. So uh, just like I said, keep an eye out for that. Um, let's see, I am sorry that I should have cut some of this out maybe, um, but here I am putting down the title. I love the pops of color from this B-side collection. It makes me so sad that Basic Gray is no longer in business. They were definitely one of my favorite um, companies. They made really, really great boy paper, which is so hard to find these days. I, um, I have three boys, as I've said before, and they're teenage boys, so my youngest is 17, and my oldest is gonna be 21. And when you especially have boys teenage age, you find yourself having to use a lot of generic um, motifs and not a whole lot of collections that cater towards boys, which is fine, I don't mind. I do a lot of cut up, cutting apart things, use a lot of stars. Um, and then, of course, now I find myself taking more photos <laughs> of myself uh, so that I can use all of the pretty paper, too, which I never used to do that when um, my boys were younger. I never took photos of myself, and now I'm really wishing that I had more photos of myself while they were growing up, um, but I don't. I have tons of them, and that's great but I wish looking back. So all of you young moms, make sure you're taking your selfies now uh, with your kids or just of yourself so that you can document yourself through those through those you know stages in their lives because I don't feel like I have too many photos of myself with my kids during that time. So now I'm wanting to use scrapbook products, so that's why I take selfies. That's kind of sad, huh? But it, it is what it is. It's getting the job done. I'm getting to use some of that pretty Maggie Holmes paper and things like that. So um, here I am on the, um, the cut apart cassette tape um, that I have down at the bottom. I am just using some black um, stickers and I'm just spelling out Keith Urban. And then up on the lines next to that little B, I'm going to do my journaling uh, on that little space. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I will journal a little bit about uh, the time that my mom had and and maybe my favorite songs or something like that during on that section. So I fiddle with that for quite a bit because I just can't seem to get things straight and I probably don't have my glasses on. That is the worst part about getting older, is one day you can see and the next day you can't. So I have to have my reading glasses on when I scrapbook now. Oh my goodness, I never imagined a day where I would have to do that, but the time has come. So uh, if I don't have my glasses on, I can't do anything when I'm scrapbooking. I can't stitch, I can't lay letters straight, it's awful. So here I am um, laying out some, I did some splatters and now I'm laying out some of those metal pieces that I spoke about earlier. And you'll see this pink tool come in and that's that Imagine, I, I'm pretty sure it's from Imagine Ask. Um, I'll see if I can find the actual name of it, but honestly I don't think they make it anymore. It's something you may have to find on eBay or, um, you know, in a resale shop somewhere. So there it is. All you do is you hold down that pink button and uh, hold it over the little metal thing and that's it. And it's, it glues it down for you. And I have not yet seen any of them fall off. I will let you know if, uh, if that happens, but I have several older layouts where I've used this and it seems to stick really well. So that is going to finish up my layout. 
I am sorry I had to cut you off there, but I reached my 15 minute limit for my uploads, which I'm trying to correct with YouTube. But here are some close ups of my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.